Catherine, full body experience. Catherine is a puzzle video game developed by Atlas and released in 2011. A re-release with additional content was released in 2019, thus the extended name Full Body. Let's hit up Wikipedia for a quick description. The story follows Vincent Brooks, a man who is beset by supernatural nightmares while torn between his feelings for a long-time girlfriend, Catherine, and the similarly named Beauty Catherine. The gameplay is divided between daytime, where Vincent interacts with the characters, a social simulation, and his dreams where he must navigate the three-dimensional towers through combined platforming and puzzle solving. The game's ending is affected by choices made by Vincent over the course of the story. I think there are about 9 to 12 different endings with uh, this uh, specific release. After getting this PlayStation 4 edition, I remembered that I had actually played this game before. Initially, I thought that it was a sequel or something. Still, that story, <laughs> I mean, it was interesting. It was really fun to re-experience. I had forgotten about a lot of details and nuances in it. So it was fun. So the story, although short, it's very captivating. It kind of makes you wonder about things in real life. What would you do in this kind of situation? Catherine heavily presses on getting the overall deep and meaningful point across. In a way, it teaches you to appreciate things or people around you. Getting even deeper, you might learn that life throws you curveballs and temptations. Will you be able to resist or live with the consequences of your actions? But the most easiest way to describe the story itself, without spoiling of course, is that a terrible nightmare taunts men and kills them in their sleep. And apparently, the protagonist Vincent has also started to see those nightmares. You will experience a lot of awkward situations, conversations at a daytime and a terrible rush of strategic maneuvering at night. So at night you run, you climb several towers, sometimes even more if you want to survive. You need to arrange the blocks to head to the top as fast as possible. But the road is full of coins, aids and even enemies. Sometimes the blocks themselves are the enemies. But you, you just need to run, climb, push, pull, climb, you know. It kinda reminds me of this first demo game I ever played. Intelligent Cube, also known as Kurushi. It was in the 90s of course, but this here is not bad of a puzzle game at all. To be honest, it was a lot of fun. Your road is made harder by bottom blocks that are always falling away. So you need to hurry. There is also a monster who usually tries to slap you as you struggle in the bottom. When you screw up, you can undo 6 or 10 moves depending on the difficulty. You can also see other people online. Well, you don't actually see them, but th their names are marked as glowing orbs uh, on the steps or the tower steps. Thus, you can see where are other people at this moment who are playing the game at the same time as you are. Hehe, <laughs> fun times. You can also see statistics of how many people have failed or fallen this challenge you know, in, in this particular evening. And you know, it's just a fun add-on. Also drinks. Drinks have actual point in this game. Not only can you listen to the trivia about them each evening, but you can also do better at night. The more you drink, the better you'll do. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, which now reminded me that Estonia declared alcoholic beverage restrictions here in Estonia. Nightclubs and pubs are now supposed to be closed around, I, I don't remember what time, but, but they're not allowed to serve alcohol anymore. <laughs> All because of this COVID. I mean, I mean, our government is a, a bunch of bricks. I mean, they're really, please do not come to Estonia. It's a shithole. Trust me, it's a shithole. Government will, you know, I'm not going to say the F word, but they will F you up so much that your anus will be bleeding for the, for the next part of your life, for the next half of your life. You will be begging of them to stop screwing you. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Restrictions. Oh, you want to? Okay, you pay tax. Yes, a lot of tax. Yes, please. Handouts? You want handouts? No, no. You get hand jobs? No, no. Handouts? No, no. You only elite group of people gets handouts. People who have a lot of money. You, you get um, some more money. You know, take this money. Good, good, good money. Yes, Estonia. You know, Estonia, Estonia, Estonia. Oh, I, <laughs> I'm really sorry about this rant, you know, but, you know, do take it seriously. Okay, back to the game review. You will also meet many regular and irregular bar patrons at the Stray Sheep, which is the bar Vincent goes to every evening. They each have their preferred time to show up, 
and most of them have troubles that you, Vincent, can help them through. You don't need to, of course, but the trophies will pop if you do so, plus the satisfaction of saving lives, of course. In this bar you can also find a jukebox and an arcade machine named Rapunzel, which is an 8-bit version of your nightmares. You can also read through your text messages and reply to them. The answers you will send out affect the storyline and the ending. And so do the answers you give out inside the confession room in between towers. Overall, this game doesn't need any more explanation. It's just a casual game, well thought out and meaningful. You know, it, it's also a quite short one. In one session, you can complete it maybe like, you know, five to six hours, maybe seven, but multiple playthroughs and online component gives you a lot of playtime overall. Also the minigame Rapunzel, which will steal your life. This full body experience has a lot of new features compared to the initial release. It has online battle mode, ranking system, new tracks, twice as many levels, over 500 of them, Super Rapunzel with uh, uh, 128 stages or something. You can, you can view strategies, uh, no limit of uh, retrying, pillows no longer give extra lives, and you know, a lot of difficulty options as well. So, you know, you know even an infant can complete this, uh, this game. But only you, a grown-up, who understands uh, transgenderity will truly understand it. Write it down, my new word. Anyways, you know, I, I mean this game is worth your time, it's worth your money, and this is coming from a guy who usually stays clear of any Japanese animated cartoons and magazines. I give Catherine full body massage, I, I mean Catherine full body an 8 out of 10. And I hope that you enjoyed this review. If you did, hit that like, smash that bell, and if you dare, subscribe as well. I'm Silly Lamas, and thanks for watching. Till next time.